All right. So as far as your point of view on 50-50 relationships, what you are your know thoughts what? on that? Honestly, it should be all about 50-50. To me, the way I look at it is like this. If a guy is contributing his hard work ethic and his like, you know, he's busting his ass, right? Why am I going to just let him bust his ass? I'm going to do it too. You know, I'm going to be there for him just like he's going to be there for me. Maybe there's going to be a time where I can't, I can't work. Maybe I break my leg. Maybe I break my arm. And I would expect my guy to say, hey, you know, I'm going to look out for you. I'm going to be there for you when times get tough. Because at the end of the day, cell phones still need to be paid. Bills need to be paid. And, you know, being a woman, yes, of course, you know, a guy being a gentleman, opening the door, you know, paying for dinner, you know, that's nice. And I appreciate that. And I'm not saying that I don't want that. But at the same time, I want to support my guy, too. And I think if you really, truly love somebody, it can't just be about the dollar bill. It has to be about a true relationship where you guys are in this together through thick, through thin, whatever it takes, you make it work. You know, no more swipe left, swipe right, you know, because everybody is so like, oh, this doesn't work. Let me find somebody else. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, let me. Where's the integrity? Where's the, you know, I'm going to be in this to the end. Like, you want somebody that really loves you, that's committed. They're not going to commit to somebody that's looking at the next guy or at the next opportunity, you know, or whatever. They're going to look at a woman that's like, wow, you know, I was down and out and I helped. Now, on the flip side of that, these guys that think that they're just going to take advantage of women, I don't think that's cool either. It has to be a partnership. If you're in a relationship, it should be a give and take situation. It should be a partnership where two people are coming together and making it work. Because at the end of the day, that's what you both want. You don't want somebody that's taking advantage of you. You want somebody that really, truly loves you and truly cares. And the way, let me tell you, the way you find out somebody's true character is if you fall upon hard times and they stand, stand strong. They don't move. They're there no matter what. Now, if you come on hard times and they just disappear, then you know all along. They never had your back. They were never there. They were just there when things were good. When everything was glitz, everything was glamour, it was all good. I had a friend, actually, a very, very dear friend. God rest his soul. His name was Stan. And I was the only one. I wasn't, we were never romantic together. He was never my boyfriend, but he was my friend. And you know, it was crazy because everybody always said, oh, I got you, I got you, I got you, you know, in, in all these different situations because he would make these incredible costumes. When he got sick with colon cancer, nobody came. It was me and maybe like two other people that were really concerned, but most of them didn't even know so what was going on. So you're the supportive type. Yeah. I was there. I would drive like two hours into Brooklyn to go see him. You know, and I would bring him stuff and whatever. And you know, it was hard at the end because I think I didn't want to accept that he was going to go. But at the end of the day, I know as a friend, I did the best that I could. I really did. I brought him, I tried to make him feel somewhat like a human. 